Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to talk about some upcoming projects. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I say in this video is just my opinion and you should always do your own research before buying or selling anything. Also, you should be following me on Twitter because my cat said so and my cat never lies. She just wakes me up at six in the morning. So the first project on today's list is going to be Tiger Bob. Now this is gonna be a smaller collection of 1000 NFTs. As you can see here, it's going to be these pixelated tiger heads. And the collection has been in the spotlight recently due to some confusion around the artist's work. If we scroll down, you can see here, somebody says, so you're not the artist that created Moonbirds. There was a rumor going around that the artist behind Tiger Bob's was the artist that created Moonbirds. That is not true. What actually happened is that the artist for this is one of the artists that they selected for the Grails collection. Now, if you don't know Grails, it's one of the projects by the Proof Collective that came out a little bit before Moonbirds. And it's essentially 20 different artists and they each created a unique piece. Now it's not a one of one. You can see here it's repeated multiple times. However, if we go through the names of the artists, there's notable names like Gary Vaynerchuk, there's Tim Ferriss, there's Delucris. He's the artist that we've spoke about in the past who made the Monsters collection. There's Gremlin and a ton more. And if we filter, you can see that the artist that created the Tiger Bob's collection indeed does have a piece and they are trading for a floor of 10 Ethereum. Now, one of the reasons for this, if we hop on over to the Proof Collective Twitter, you can see that the Grail number 10, which is the one created by that artist, is going to give you whitelist for Tiger Bob. Now, there are other collections that are gonna do this. If we hop on their website, you can see there are four by this artist. They've also partnered with different artists and handed out a few spots. You can see most of them got 25 that are going to be raffled off to those holders. And if we take a look at this one on OpenSea, you could see that while there weren't many sales for like a month's time recently, ever since they announced the whitelist, there have been a few sales and they're trading between two and four Ethereum. So due to that misunderstanding and due to the fact that Proof has tweeted about them, there has been a lot of attention on this collection. It will be interesting to see if they can hold this interest since their mint is only in more more than a month from now, it's on May 28th. I personally really like these pieces, so I do think it's very possible. Also the fact that Grails is getting whitelist for this, they're kind of building a community already of amazing holders. And of course the fact that it's only a 1K drop NFT, that is definitely gonna play in their favor. And here you can see the mint price is going to be 0.25 Ethereum. Now if you can't afford any of those collections and you still wanna get whitelisted, you can see right here on their Twitter, there is indeed a pre-mint link. And if we go to it, you could see they are giving away some allow list spots. I'm not sure how many are being given away, but if you sign up from now until April 27th on May 1st, they are going to be raffling whitelist. So you do have a chance to get whitelisted for this project. Next, we have a project called Ession. This is going to be a anime project. It's going to be a 10K generative collection and they're describing themselves as an art and music project. So since they bring up music, I'm assuming each piece might have a song behind it. And that would make sense as the founder for this collection is lead of a Korean hip hop label called Beautiful Noise. Now, one of the other names he goes by is gonna be Pink Beanie Boy. You could see he's featured in a bunch of videos on YouTube. This is his channel. He has over 500,000 subscribers. The content is quite entertaining. You could see I watched a few videos. Uh, I didn't understand much as it's all in Korean. It's very different, but like I said, entertaining. As for the artists, they're also Korean. You could check them out on ArtStation. They make a bunch of different anime pieces. And I am a fan of their work. If we just scroll through this one, these pieces are quite nice. Another thing I liked about this project, really what caught my eye for this one is going to be this trailer that they released. The art, just to begin with, is different than the other anime art we see. It's quite gritty, there's attitude to it, but I like when projects put out trailers with a song and animation, and here the animation is really good. It looks like something straight out of an anime. So I respect when projects put in this kind of work. Now other than that, that's all I know about this project. I liked the trailer, I checked out the team a little bit, I like that it's not just a typical copy paste from every other anime that's out there. So definitely one I'm keeping an eye on. Next, we have a project that recently popped on my radar. Again, I don't know too much about this one either. And that's going to be Bed Bugs. Now I do know I spotted here, this is a well-known Board Ape Yacht Club owner. So I did try reaching out. I have not gotten an answer yet, but hopefully soon I will get to talk to them about what this project's about. They also released this trailer. You can see there's an Anon character. 
And it's gonna be about this creature you see here. It's called a Grimbog. If you go through their website, they kind of talk about what a Grimbog is. As for the artist, Julian Armstrong, they go by Euphoric Supply. If we check them out on Instagram, they have over 175,000 followers. And if we scroll through, you could see they have been doing these characters for a while with the classic three eyes, which is something that you could see in the Grimbog character. The artist also has released some collections on OpenSea. Here you could see there's this one and it has a floor of 0.75. There's also gonna be the Euphoric World Collection that has a floor of 0.35. And once again, you can see it's that same character with the three eyes. So other than that, there really isn't that much information. You do get to see who the team is, but there is no date, there is no price, and there is no roadmap yet for this collection. It is quite early. So it's just another one that I'm keeping on my radar. Next, two more projects that were brought to my attention. Again, these ones I have absolutely no information on. There's no team info, there's no website, nothing like that. It's just purely pictures. So I'm just bringing them to your attention. You can see here, I like this picture. I find it looks good, but like I said, there's no info, so we're gonna have to wait to find out more about it. And this one is going to be called Rokoyo NFT. And the other one that was just brought to my attention is going to be Moonlanders. It is growing quite quickly. They're already at 5,000 followers. And all we have so far is just a little bit of art. These characters look really good. They kind of give me, I guess, Karafuru vibes. So this is another one that a few people have been sending to me and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? Smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.